Back 741 now with a Today Live exclusive. It has been less than a month since NASCAR driver Ryan Newman survived this frightening wreck on the final lap of the Daytona 500. And we are so happy, you guys, because we have Ryan right here at our table for his first interview since that crash. But first, let's take a look back at how we got here. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air. Goes Newman. It's the terrifying crash that had a nation of racing fans holding its breath. Newman got turned, went up in the air. Another car slamming into Ryan Newman, sending him flying back into the air at 190 miles per hour, wrecking his number six car at the finish of this year's Daytona 500. Miraculously, Ryan escaped with a head injury, but was otherwise unharmed. He shared an update from his hospital room, and then this emotional photo and video just two days after the wreck of him walking out of the medical center holding hands with his young daughters. Since leaving the hospital, he's been fishing, or as he calls it, a little therapy. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for all your support and encouragement over the past couple of weeks. They've been quite a challenge. And was back into his racing team's garage, as well as visiting at a racetrack over the weekend as a spectator. It is a remarkable recovery for Newman, who, as a young driver, spoke to us about newly implemented safety precautions for drivers. I really feel about 50 to 70 percent safer than I was last year. An unbelievable three weeks for Newman, but now he's back on track. Ryan, we're so happy that you're here. We're so happy that you're sitting at that table. After watching that video, I don't know how many times you've seen it, but um, how are you feeling this morning? How do you feel today? It's still humbling to, to watch it and um, know that I'm sitting here without a headache, which is amazing. Uh, just a miracle on so many levels and thankful for so many people for prayers for all the things that went into me being safer in that situation. No, no broken bones, nothing None. like that. And nothing. there were some reports of head injuries. What do the doctors have to say about that? Basically like a bruised brain, like it just takes, takes time for it to heal. Um, I was knocked out. There was a point where I, I don't remember a part of the race and yeah. realistically I just feel so lucky. Like well, I just, so many, on so many levels I feel so lucky. Like you look at the crash, you think that's yeah. spectacular in a bad way, right? Yeah. yeah. But if you look at the car afterwards, you think about all the things of what happened right for me to be sitting here. I mean, it, the race itself, for folks who don't follow NASCAR, it's the, it's the Super Bowl mm -hmm. of racing, the Daytona 500. Here you are, 190 miles per hour, last lap. You're that close to winning this thing uh, when, when you get clipped. What's, what's the last thing you remember? Well, this is, this is my, I should have won an interview, right? <laughs> 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 so we got to get Coke Industries in and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Ford, you know, all the people that... <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's emotional, no doubt. And I think about the fact that I was that close, but really, in the end, I'm really humbled by the opportunity, the experience to continue my life, to be blessed by so many people's prayers, yeah. to be sitting here and, and hopefully make something of it, enjoy life with my daughters. I was going to tell you, I, I said, I, you, you're here, and so are your guardian angel, yeah. which are clearly watching over you. And, and safety is something that you've been working on and talking about and been a leader on. Mm -hmm. um, on and off the track, and now here you are the beneficiary of that. Right, and, and uh, it's not just me, but there's a whole group at NASCAR who's done a great job from the tracks to the safety personnel, the, the drivers inside the cars, the cockpits, the containment seats that we have. There's so many levels of things that happened in the last 20 years that I've been a part of this sport that helped me to be able to sit here today. We well, were saying just a minute ago that when you, you look at the crash and you think, oh my gosh, how did I walk away? But then when you look closer and you look inside the car, what went right? What did you What did you mean? What yeah. did go right? Uh, just where I was kind of hit, so to speak. So, yeah. I mean, the, the 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 cage was compromised. All those welds held together. So the guys in the shop did an amazing job. Mm. Um, all, all the things that happened that um, kept me here. I mean, I got I got hit from behind by a car going 190 miles an hour, mm -hmm. and and it pushed me back. But then he pushed me forward. Like his car actually hit my seat. So it's just lots of things that happened that. Um, Aligned, well, right? The humble. angels aligned. <laughs> and held a really good grip because with their hands. You're being humble because, I mean, you, you've been such an advocate for safety. There's actually a bar in the car that's called the Newman Bar that protects drivers and their foreheads specifically. For folks who might be watching and wondering, why in the world, after surviving something like this, cheating death, why would you get back in the car? Why not just retire at 40? Oh, I love it. I mean, um, 
because I'm just 42, right? <laughs> um, no, not really. I love it. I mean, I, I, it's been it's been a little bit painful to be out of the race car and um, to not be doing what I've done for so many years. I started racing when I was four years old, four mm -hmm. and a half years old. So it's just kind of who I am. And just lastly, would you tell your girls? Because I know that that must have been scary because they were at the track when it happened. What did you tell them? Just daddy's all right. I mean, just yeah. really. I mean, that's. I don't. I don't. I mean. They seem to be completely fine with the fact that um, I'm still daddy. Like yeah. I think it'd be totally different if something else would have happened. Right. But I'm 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 100 percent who I was, <laughs> which they were good with. So I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Ryan, when are you back in that car? When are you back in that? that I don't know yet. We're working on it. Okay. Ryan, soon as soon as I possibly can. Good thank to see you. you for coming to see us. Thank we really you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to have you yeah. here. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll send it over to Al. Get a check of the weather. Hey guys, thank.